in the previous video we started uh, playing around with that decimal point once you multiplied by powers of 10 and wh what we saw was that uh, once you multiplied by a power of 10 that uh, you just needed to move that decimal point uh, if you have a, a, a positive exponent for example up here we have 10 to the first power uh, so uh, if we have um, if you have that 10 to the first power then you're just gonna move the decimal point the the number of times that you have uh, that exponent so uh, of course it, if it, the exponent is positive then you move that point towards the right if the exponent was negative which was the the bottom case here uh, then you ended moving that point towards the left so uh, this is going to be pretty useful for scientific notation. In fact, this is uh, this is really uh, uh, moving from scientific notation to standard form. We we're just not representing it uh, like like uh, it's usually represented. So right now, uh, how you would see it in scientific notation, uh, that first case was uh, uh, 2.5 uh, and uh, times 10, and then you write the exponent here. Now many times uh, uh, this is going to be useful when you have a really, really, really huge number or a really tiny number that you have uh, many unnecessary numbers uh, that you have to keep repeating and uh, to save up uh, some, some, uh, some time, I guess, uh, you just use a more compacted and useful notation. Uh, so uh, here I made a, a flow. Uh, uh, kind of like a flow uh, chart here or uh, uh, basically a diagram of, of how are you gonna do that first of all uh, well uh, here you have uh, the first case I mean the first step uh, second step and then the third the third step is gonna depend on uh, on on what you end up doing with the decimal point whether you move it to towards the left or towards the, the right so let's start with uh, uh, this number to the left here, a very, very created number, 1 to 3, and many zeros towards it, its right. So, uh, and, and, and towards the right of that number, we also have another created number, uh, which is 0 .0000. Did I say the correct number of zeros? Let me repeat it. 0 .0000, 1 to 3. Really creative. So, uh, uh, starting to apply, I, I want to write these numbers uh, in, in scientific notation. So what I will do is that I'm going to start applying, applying the first step here. And uh, what this first step is indicating is that I'm going to move the decimal point to the first non-zero digit. Now I'm going to mark uh, the two cases here just so, so you follow up on, on what is it uh, indicating here. Uh, so uh, the first let me get uh, another highlighter. Um, green, nah, purple. There. So, uh, in the number towards the left, well, uh, you start looking at numbers from left to right, and the first uh, digit happens to be the first non-zero digit. It's simply one. Now, in the number number towards the the right, if you try to consider the first the first digit, it's zero, so it's no use to you. You're gonna have to continue down towards uh, this one here, which is actually the first non-zero digit. So uh, what we're gonna do is that uh, we're gonna move, uh, and I'm gonna do it uh, first uh, with uh, here. Let me pick uh, red. Let's use red. So the decimal point, which is down here, I'm gonna move it up over here. So, uh, I have to count the amount of times. I believe we have about, about 10. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. So, uh, the amount of times that you move the point, write it down. That's going to be n. So, n equals 10. And uh, you move that point towards the left. So, write down that information because that's going to help you. Uh, right now, we're 
in the second step and uh, that right now that information is gonna help me out uh, decide whether I'm gonna uh, select uh, one of the, the uh, two strategies that we have below that second step and of course we're gonna select this one because we move the point towards the left so what we're gonna do is that um, the the power of 10 uh, we're, uh, the, the base 10 is gonna be increased by n and which happens to be uh, 10 in this case so that might be sort of confusing there so uh, let's just write it down uh, we have uh, one point because I moved the point here and then I write uh, two three now the other zeros are not significant now re remember that if if we had a, a point here it would have been significant but since it has no point none of these numbers were none of these zeros were significant other than the one the two and the three so I only had three significant digits so I write 1.23 and then times 10 and I use n here so 10 to the power of 10 and that is my scientific notation for uh, that humongous number let's uh and, and so how you can check and let me write check here is trying to work work your way back if if your if your notation is correct then uh, let me write it here 1.23 times 10 to the 10th power now remember that the trick when you multiply uh, by a, a, a power of 10 is that you mo you're gonna move that point uh, the uh, towards the right if you have a positive uh, exponent and you're gonna move it uh, the, the number of times that, that the exponent has so uh, right now uh, that point is gonna be moved 10 times so uh, it's gonna be one let me write the point to later erase it uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so all of those spaces there you fill them out with zeros and uh, then uh, just erase this uh, this little point here I uh, erased it by mistake did it too and then uh, put your own commas there and as you see we got back to the number that we started with so yes my scientific notation is correct so this is the correct answer uh, so let's move on to the case towards the, re the, the right uh, so we're gonna move the decimal point which we have over here we're gonna move it after the first non-zero digit so one two three four five I moved that point five times so I have 1.23 now I, uh, I wrote five for some reason three 23 now uh, here I needed to write down that n equaled uh, 5 and that I moved towards the right and the reason for that is, is because uh, that's gonna help me out decide whether I have um, in the third step if I have uh, uh, this case or the one towards the right and uh, in, in our case uh, in this second case here uh, we have this uh, this uh, case here so we move the decimal point towards the right and uh, we're gonna use uh, our scientific notation so this is gonna be times a power uh, of 10 so times 10 and uh, the exponent here I'm gonna use it with that one now uh, there's something that that we need to keep in mind here a decrease means to subtract and that's a key word here that uh, I'm going to highlight it. You have a decrease of the exponent uh, of 10 by n. A decrease, decrease means to subtract. So that means that it's going to be negative. Uh, so here, instead of having uh, 10 to the 5th power, I'm going to write 10 to the negative 5th power. And, of course, that's my answer.